All right, what we finna do now is finna put some prime on this spot, the spot that I repaired on the door. And also I got my other parts outside that I'm gonna put a little, shoot a little prime on my fender and my hood. And paint, or probably I'm gonna shoot a little bit on the, uh, the bump out there also. But yeah, this is the prime I'm gonna be using. Mason Select Prime 2K Primer. Yep. All it is is just a primer and a catalyst. If you don't have a reducer that goes with this, just a 2K primer, high build primer. So, what I'm gonna do is get this all mixed up, then we're gonna cut you back on. All right, got my primer mixed up, got it in my, prim my uh, primer gun. I'm gonna shoot my first coat of primer on this thing and on my hood and my fender outside. Check it out. Another thing, as you can see, I didn't go all the way to my hard line right there. Make it easy on yourself. Don't paint to the hard line. That'll be something you have to try to block out. And it's not really that easy to block out. What you'll do, you'll end up with a, a, a line that's visible once you uh, block it down and then you refinish it. It'll be a line that that's still a little bit visible. You won't, you won't ever be able to block it out. Just put it like that. So. Don't paint to your line. That's it. That's my first coat. I'm going to put my second coat on. Let that tack off a little bit. Throw my second coat on there. Alright, like I said, I got my first coat down. I'm going to put, you can put two to three coats of primer down. It just depends on, you know, how deep your sand scratches is on there, you know, whatever. But, uh, I'm going to put my second coat on there. I'm not going to bore you guys with the same thing that I just did. I know y'all seen it, unless y'all want to see it. Do y'all want to see it? Nah, I didn't think y'all did. So I'm going to cut you back on when I get done. All right. I got the spot primed in. Now I'm going to install all my pieces back on. <clears throat> Check the fitment and everything. And also I got some headlights that just came in. I'm going to be uh, slapping those in
Alright, as y'all can see, I'm throwing the parts back on here. I got the hood, the fender on. I'm gonna throw the front bump on. But I'm not gonna bore you guys with going through the whole process process of reinstalling the parts. Because y'all seen me take them off. You just, when you're taking something off, you just reverse the process, man. Simple as that. And hey, you never go wrong. But I'm gonna cut y'all back on when I get this other, other part slapped on the bumper and finish aligning the fender and the hood together. Get them mounted in it and I'll cut you back on. All right, I got all buttoned back up as you can see. Got the fender on there, got the fender wiped, primed, got the edge of the hood primed. Fixed that spot where it was rolled in. I fixed that, fixed the bumper down there, and fixed the door. And also fix the strut that was on there. As you can see right here. Yeah, but that's it, man. That's about it. Uh, next, I'll be throwing a little black on it. Match up. Paint all the parts that need to be painted anyway. I was going to do a color change on it, but nah. Just paint the parts that need to be painted and put it up for sale, man. After I get a rebuilt title for it, get all that done, all that paperwork done, and uh, should be up for sale, man. Oh, yeah. Well, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to the channel, man. And I'll keep bringing you the best content I could bring. All right, man, it's your boy Rollo Customs. We signing off.